Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to talk about the next eight letters in the Arabic language. From the last lesson, you'd remember Alif, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, and Kha. And we connected some of these letters so you got to see how the language is actually written. Remember, it's written from right to left. And some of the letters don't connect to the next letter. And the only one that we've gone over like that is this alif. So we're going to start fresh with the next uh, letters in the alphabet. The next one is dal. And this just makes a normal D sound, same D that we have in English. This is another letter that does not connect to letters after it, and I'll give examples in a bit. Uh, the next letter looks just like it, has the same shape, but it has a dot on top. And this is a VAL. Remember in the last uh, lesson we went over the TH. This is the TH sound that is lighter, like in the word thing. You don't say thing, but this is the the, this is the harder one. So the and th, the, th. So this is the same sound that in English we would have as that. It'd be this TH instead of this TH. So this one, there's only, these, this family only has two letters, so it's just dal and dal. Now, remember how we connected the letters together. Dal either looks like this by itself, or it connects to the letter before it. It doesn't ever connect to the next letter, even if it's part of the same word. So if there was a ba right here, the ba would just be by itself. Even though this could be the same word, uh, it doesn't connect right here. So there's a break. So you just have to know which letters don't connect to the next letters. The same thing with that. So if we were to put um, a that right here, and then a ba, it wouldn't connect. But if we were to do it the other way around, and we would do a ba, and then the, it would look like that. So same thing for the dal. If we put a ba before it, it would just look like that. It just doesn't connect to the next letter. So it can either look like this or like this. The next family is another two-letter family. This actually looks really similar to the dal and the dal. So here's the dal and dal. Uh, the next one is actually called ra. And it looks like this, ra. And this is not the same r that we have in English. It's a bit lighter, and you're flicking your tongue up against the top of your mouth. So it's ra, ra. It's not r. So this also does not connect to any letters after it. Uh, the other letter in this family is Z or Z, but it makes the Z sound. There's a lot of mispronunciation in Arabic. People will pronounce actually a lot of letters as Zs, but this is the only one that actually has a Z sound. Um, so this, both of these do not connect to the next letter, and they're different from the Dal and the Dal, even though they kind of look the same, uh, because they go below the line. So let's just put a dal and a ra together. Uh, that's how it'll look different um, because the ra actually goes under the line. Um, same with uh, the ze. It would look like that if you put it next to a dal. If you were to connect these, um, if you were to write bar or bar 
um, just put a ba and a ra together. The ra would connect to the, to the letter before it, but not the letter after it. So this would be a b and an r. And then this is also, this makes an a sound, so it would be like that. Um, uh, an Arabic word that's an example is, you might have heard the phrase Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, that's the name of God, Ar Rahman. So remember the ha from the last episode? That's actually right here. So this would be an A, L, R, 7, a ha, uh, M, A, N. So you can see here, this is one word, but the ra does not connect to the ha. And you can also see the alif does not connect to this letter, uh, because it just never connects to the, to the next letter after it. So that's an example of the ra. Um, uh, an example for the word, uh, for the letter zay, um, is actually the name Zayn. This would be like a Z. This is like a Y, and this is an N. So this is uh, just Z. You can see it doesn't connect to the next letter, but this is still one word. So so far we've gone over Dal, Dal, Ra, and Z. So the next letter that we're going to go over is called seen. Uh, this makes an S sound. So let's go over its sister is Sheen. And Sheen has three dots above it, but it's the exact same shape. So this makes an S sound, and this makes an SH sound. Seen, Sheen. Uh, trying to think of an example. If it's in the middle, okay, so let's put three of them together. If it's at the beginning, it'll look like that. If it's in the middle, it'll look like that, just with those teeth. And if it's at the end, look like that. So if we put those A marks above it, it's like three S's. So sa sa sa. Um, you could change this to a sheen if you just put the three dots above it. So sha sha sha. And the last letters that we're going to go over. So, okay, let's review. We've done dad, dad, raw, zay, seen, sheen. And now we're going to do sod. Sod is a bit difficult to pronounce. It's written like that. Um, and sometimes people write it, when they write it with English letters, they put a dot under an S to signify the difference in the sound. It's not exactly an S. Your mouth is a bit puckered when you say it. And instead of sa, you say sa. Sa, sa. So if you would put an alif after it, that would be sa. So it's pronounced a bit different from the scene, but sometimes it's difficult for people uh, who speak English to really recognize the difference all the time. I still have trouble sometimes, um, but it does affect the vowels after it, and you have to pucker your mouth when you say slod. So if you were to put this um, in a word, at the beginning it would be like that, in the middle it would be like that, 
at the end it would look a lot like it does just by itself. So we put those marks again, saw, saw, saw. And then I'm just putting the dot under the S because some people write it like that when they signify it in with English letters. Its sister is the baud. It's the same shape, but it has a one dot above it. This is a very unique letter uh, to the Arabic language, baud. People sometimes put a D or a dot under the D. Arabic is apparently on, the only language in the world that actually has this letter. Uh, that's because when you normally say a, a da, like a D sound, like up here, you're bouncing your tongue off the, your front teeth. So da, da. With da, you're puckering your mouth and you're bouncing your, your tongue off the side of your mouth. So it's da, da. Uh, it's really difficult to say. Um, in India, a lot of them just pronounce it with a Z sound. That's totally wrong. Uh, especially if you're reading Quran, you need to pronounce it with the ba. Um, you'll get used to it. Just try to pronounce. Try to. Uh, it's easier for most people to pronounce it with their their tongue on the left side of their mouth. So you just put your tongue flat up against the roof of your mouth and bounce it off the left upper teeth instead of the front teeth. So it's ba, ba. And you actually get used to it. The more you hear it, the more you'll recognize it. But it's not the same as a normal D sound. The D in English is just like the dad. The baud is totally different. So if you were to put that, um, if you were to write it in a word, it would look the same as the sod. Same shape. You just put a dot above it. So again, if you put the A marks above it, it's da da da, and so to summarize, uh, let's review all the letters that we've gone over today. This is a dal, dal, ra. Zay, Sin, Sheen, Sod, and Dodd. So you can see this is a family, this is a family. This is a family, and this is a family. So, I want you to think about all of these letters before ending the lesson, and think about which ones do not connect to the letter after it. I've given you a few examples, so just take a moment and try to identify the ones that don't connect to the next letter, even if it's part of the same word. It should be pretty easy. Okay, so the letters that don't connect to the letter after it are this group. Hold on. This group and this group. These, the sod and the bod, and the scene and the sheen, both always connect to other letters in their word. The dal and the dal always break things up, and they make the next letter start all by themselves. So just keep that in mind when reading it. Uh, a lot of people make mistakes trying to connect them to the next letter. Uh, just remember that with these, just like the elif that we mentioned before, uh, let's just put all the letters that we've learned so far on the screen. So remember the elif, the ba, ta. The Jim Ha and Ha. So the letters out of these, uh, all of these letters connect to the next letter except Elif, Zay, Ra, 
and down and then. So that concludes this lesson.